Developing your team takes time and effort on your part. If you are at all unclear on what developing your team gives you personally as a manager, please give me a few minutes of your time. Don't miss out on the huge range of benefits for you personally, your team and your business. This video will help you explain to your manager how investing in developing your team will create great results. Be the manager that has been promoted way ahead of your current peers, not the manager kicking yourself in years to come, wondering why you got left behind. And there are of course many factors in getting promotion. Improving results and team motivation help massively. And developing your team is a key enabler of many benefits you get back when investing in training and development for your team. I explain why you get these six benefits. And after managing teams for over 25 years, I know the investment you make in developing your team members will be paid back many times over. And at the end of the video, I share four team development options within your control which don't need a budget, and a further three options which do need a budget, all great for development of your team. My name is Jess Coles and I create courses to accelerate the learning of management skills and I also coach business leaders. I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below as well as the video timestamps so do take a look at these. And if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So the first benefit you get from developing your team is improved team dynamics. I mean, personally, putting in the time and effort to you know, firstly, understand what your team members want to achieve in their career. And then secondly, organizing and involving them in tasks, activities and projects which will help them develop towards their career goals. It's a pretty massive demonstration that you care about them and that you're trying to help them achieve their career goals. Developing your team members also demonstrates you're going to help each employee do well at their job you get a lot of goodwill from the team members, which you can then use to ask more from your team, a fair exchange if you like. Both employees and manager are helping each other achieve their personal goals. A great foundation to create a positive atmosphere and good team dynamics. The second benefit you get from developing your team is better leadership, problem solving and decision making skills within the team members. Developing each of these skills in your team members helps you personally, you know, rather than just you being a leader or having to solve the problems the team faces or make all the decisions, you have at least some of your team members helping in each area. You know, this takes some of the burden of leading and managing a team off your shoulders. You have more time and less stress as a result. You're helping create the managers and leaders of tomorrow and you have a group of individuals that are increasingly capable of doing parts of your job. This gives you the space to learn and develop yourself by taking on new projects and challenges. You move your career forward and help team members do exactly the same. A great foundation for succession planning. The third benefit you get from developing your team is increased team motivation and staff retention. If your staff have put themselves through university or have worked to get a professional qualification, chances are high that they want to continue developing themselves and moving their career forward. Working for a manager who is keen to keep them learning, to keep them developing, is very motivational. You are helping them achieve their goals. I mean, who wouldn't appreciate that? If staff are learning and they can see their career progressing, they are less likely to look outside of the company for career progression. The longer you can help them make progress against their career goals, the longer you will retain your staff. Combine this approach with effectively managing any difficult or underperforming employees and you will keep the better staff for longer, which in turn increases team performance. Good for everyone. The fourth benefit you get from developing your team is attracting higher performing employees. You know, finding good people to recruit into your team is tough in any business climate. Current staff shortages in many professions make getting good people even harder. One compelling way to increase the attractiveness of joining your team is to be able to demonstrate a clear track record of developing team members. You know, when you meet potential hires or those potentially transferring into your team, talk them through, firstly, the steps you take to understand personal career goals and then the work to help individuals progress against these goals. 
Secondly, the training programs, internal and external, that your team members are able to take advantage of. And thirdly, the case studies, if you like, of internal promotions and career progression of current and former team members. Use the investment in training and development as a way to attract higher performing employees. From personal experience, showcasing development track records for team members works very well. The fifth benefit you get from developing your team is increased volume and quality of output. You know, think about it. When we're unsure about how to do something, it takes longer. If we're not confident in making decisions, it takes longer. And if we don't have good enough skills, the quality of what we produce is likely to be lower rather than higher. What you get from developing your team is a higher level of skills, you know, both technical skills as well as softer skills such as decision making and problem solving. With better skills, the tasks, activities, projects and problems the team members are working on will be completed quicker and better. And this means that the team overall will be firstly able to produce more as they'll be able to do each task quicker and better. Secondly, the quality of output will improve. And third, the range of problems a team can solve will increase, making your team more valuable to the company. And the more value the team can add to the company, the more valuable your ability to improve team performance. And this in turn means that you are much more likely to be given additional team members to manage. Good news for all involved. The sixth benefit you get from developing your team is you are more likely to get promoted. You know, all of the previous five reasons we have gone through help, firstly, increase the motivation of the team, which leads to more and better work and value creation. Secondly, it increases the volume and quality of the team output. The more value a team can produce for the company, the more valuable the team is, and the manager who created the improvements. And third, it reduces the cost of recruitment and training as you will keep your team for longer and they will be happier to stay. And in my experience, all these reasons produce a huge return on investment from developing your team. The company is a lot better off. Therefore, providing those managers above you understand and link the work you have done to the results your team produce, you will be very likely to be given more staff to manage and be promoted. And if you struggle with how you or your work is perceived, we have a free booklet sharing how to improve this area. What investing in training your team does for you far outweighs the time and effort you invest. That has certainly been my experience over 25 years of managing teams. Developing your team is a win-win all around. And as promised, here are seven different development routes you should consider. Firstly, four key development options in your control which don't need a budget. The first one is to use weekly one-on-one -on -one meetings with your direct reports to coach, mentor and train team members. You'll have a lot of skills that you can help pass on and you don't need a budget to develop team members. Secondly, create on-the-job learning opportunities. You know, mix up the tasks, activities, projects and problems assigned to team members and provide support to cross-train and help them learn new skills. Third, set up peer-to-peer -peer learning or buddy systems. Get team members to share their experience and skills with each other. And fourth, ask team members to provide mini training sessions to the rest of the team to share their skills and experience. And on top of that, we've got three additional common development routes which will need varying levels of budget. And these are, so the fifth one is formal external training courses, such as the Management Skills Accelerator program that Enhanced.Training provides. Also, see what internal courses are available within your business. 6. Mentoring programs, using internal or external managers. These can be great to pass on knowledge and expertise. Perfect to bring in new skills into the business without hiring those skills in. And then 7th, coaching programs, which can be delivered by internal or external coaches. Do choose coaches that have been formally trained and have good coaching experience. Coaching is a specific set of skills. And on a separate note, leaders can benefit by developing coaching skills, which provides a valuable additional leadership style to add to an existing repertoire, helping leaders become more effective across a greater range of situations. So in summary, what investing in training your team does for you far outweighs the time and effort you invest. That has certainly been my experience over 25 years of managing teams, so I would 110% recommend that you invest the time to develop your team. 
the results of your investment won't be seen overnight, but you should start to see signs within weeks and certainly be enjoying the benefits of developing your team within months. Personally, in this very competitive workplace, I don't think ambitious managers can afford not to invest time and effort in developing their teams. If you don't, other managers will, which means they are more likely to get ahead of you. As a quick recap, the six reasons to develop your team are, firstly, it improves team dynamics. Secondly, it builds leadership, problem solving and decision making skills. Thirdly, it increases team motivation and staff retention. Fourth, it helps attract higher performing employees. Fifth, it increases the volume and the quality of output. And then sixth, it helps you, the manager, get promoted. And if you've got any questions on the six benefits you get from developing your team, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.